watching Cox Connections only on Cox 11. Virginia Natural Gas has a reputation of providing safe and reliable service. They also are committed to educating Hampton Roads residents on how to manage their energy costs and save money. Here to tell us about their energy efficient program is Amy Rickard, Manager of Client Services for Virginia Natural Gas. Amy, welcome to the Hello, show. Hello, thank you for having me. So I understand that Virginia Natural Gas has an energy efficiency program that helps customers save money, something we all want to do. <laughs> Can you tell us some more details about that? Certainly. Our energy efficiency program is called Energy Smart. It is a program designed to help residents uh, save some money and cut their energy usage back so that they can save and conserve energy and money. And uh, the first step of the program is going online and taking an energy audit, right? Can you tell us about that? Yes, we have a free online energy audit uh, at virginianaturalgas.com slash energy smart where you can go online answer a few simple questions. It just takes merely minutes and it basically walks you through all the rooms of your home and at the end it will produce a customized report for you to tell you ways that you can be more efficient um, throughout your home, whether it's replacing windows, additional um, weather stripping, the whole nine yards. So one of the uh, benefits mm -hmm. for people who uh, go online is they can request your Energy Smart kit, right? Yes. Tell us what's in, <laughs> tell, tell us what's in that box. Great. Once um, you take the audit, you can send away for your free energy savings kit to get you started. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a neat little kit. It takes a few weeks to come in the mail. And inside the kit, I brought one with me. Okay. Um, it has some energy efficient um, appliances for um, helping you conserve some water. It comes with a low flow mas massaging shower head. Uh, it comes in chrome or white to match your current appliances. Um, and they've got some kitchen and bathroom uh, faucet aerators to help um, with the flow of water and some other little trinkets to get you started. So a low flow shower head yes. will help you save water. Save water. Uh, and you were telling me earlier about water heating being a huge cons consumption of energy within people's homes. Yes, it's the second largest consumer of energy in your home. Second largest. So. Yes saving water definitely will help on your bills. Absolutely. Um, so uh, go online, answer a few simple questions, mm -hmm. uh, get the kit in the mail. Mm -hmm. There are instructions with how to install the yes. appliances. Installation is very easy and while you're online you can also learn about our rebates and incentives to uh, upgrade your equipment to energy efficient equipment. Right now we have a current rebate offer on furnaces. Ah, fabulous. And furnaces are a pretty big ticket item to replace, so yes, they are. nice <laughs> to have a rebate. So how many people have participated uh, as part of the Energy Smart program? In the last two years, we've had over 24,000 customers participate in our Energy Smart program. That's fantastic. And uh, obviously that has helped them save money. Yes. Do you have any idea about how much those 20,000 customers have saved? We're seeing an annualized savings of over $100,000. That is phenomenal. Nice little incentive yes. to make sure that your home is energy smart. Mm -hmm. Um, are there are there other ways that people can, you know, okay, so I didn't want to take the audit, mm -hmm. which I don't know why you wouldn't, mm -hmm. but are there things just around my house that I could do anyway to help save energy? Certainly. If you're not um, in the position to replace your equipment right away, there's many uh, low cost or free things you can do to help uh, cut down on the energy usage in your home. For one, uh, one of the easiest things to do is to go out and get a programmable thermostat for your home. Uh, it helps uh, regulate the temperatures uh, when you're not there, so you're not heating a home that's empty that's or empty. cooling a home while no one's home. Uh, you basically just set it and forget it. Uh, take advantage of the sunlight during the day by opening up those curtains and blinds, letting the natural light in to help warm some rooms. Close those blinds again at night to keep the drafts out. You also want to close off rooms that aren't used very frequently. Close off the rooms in the vents so that you're not heating rooms that aren't being used. Um, I would also recommend when you're using your dishwasher or washers and dryers that you tend to uh, use full loads as often as possible to cut back on some waste. What about um, air filters? Is air it filters. important to 
really keep on top of changing yes. those regularly? Those are so easy to forget, but it's important to change them regularly about once a month. Uh, and then it's also good practice to uh, have a service contractor come check out your uh, appliances annually to keep them in top performing condition. You mentioned that there are some other tips that people can find uh, on your website. Yes. Um, tell us a little bit more about uh, the kinds of information that's available for customers there. Absolutely. On our website, we also have uh, energy conservation tips for cooking with natural gas, uh, heating your home, uh, water usage throughout your home, how you limit your showers to 10 minutes. Uh, I know, especially when it's cold in the morning and you wake up, you want that hot shower. That. <laughs> um, but limiting the time you spend in the shower, um, using energy efficient equipment to um, look for those energy star ratings to get the most efficient equipment in your home. And um, if you have uh, some concerns about your home being not as energy efficient mm -hmm. as, as you would like it to be, mm -hmm. um, can folks contact Virginia Natural Gas to get uh, additional information? Well, certainly. I would start with the audit first to take a real honest look at your home and see where you might be deficient. Uh, and it might result in calling a contractor to come out and help, which we can certainly recommend. Um, but yeah, you could definitely start there to get a frame of reference. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for being thank here you. with us today and giving these great tips. I know uh, there are a couple of things that you mentioned that I need to go home <laughs> and take care of. So thank you so much. Thank you. Um, it sounds like a fantastic program that's helping people to uh, be energy smart and to save money at home, which we, we certainly all hope want so. to do. Thank you so much. Thank you. When we return, Right at the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay sits America's newest national monument, Fort Monroe. We'll find out what is in store for this Gibraltar of the Chesapeake when we come back with more Cox Connections.